her heart. I don't know that. What do you mean you don't know? A poor grown man like you, you don't know what you want. I want to see Emma. Where is Emma? You cannot see Emma. See how do you know? I want to see Emma. You can't see Emma. See how do you know? And even if you want to see her, me, I don't know who she is. You don't, you don't know who Emma is. I don't know who she is. How come you told me she came to see me and I was sleeping? You come, you came out here to receive that chair. Please, let's just walk around. Don't go inside. Get one. Get one, please open the gate. I want to go and see Emma. Uh, excuse me. Respect your statement. You know you are not fully recovered. Go. Go back to your duty. You want to go with me. Why don't you want me to go and see Emma? Because Emma is in Abuja. She is happily married. She is married and she lives with her husband in Abuja. Her husband? Yes. Married? Yes, that is the more reason you have to forget about Emma and think about yourself. You are doing yourself more harm than good. Emma is living her life, enjoying herself in Abuja, and here you are wasting your own life. I did not mean wasting your life. I mean, I mean enjoying your life. Just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find the peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I get it. I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these. Uh, and uh, these people can be very mean with coppers. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes they still show these are cap. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. <laughs> this way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. Not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like, you don't like this one. Okay. So this one. Campus. And I was in campus. So this one. <laughs> this particular slippers, I had it for three years. You see, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Igbo, Aousa, and Yoruba. <laughs> I don't like my pictures, sorry. Do you have pictures in your phone? Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. Yeah. Hey! Ah, a trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patients? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved out her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place, and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's not patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not.
I wonder why such a handsome guy should go through all of this. Whatever is happening to that young man is caused by his mother. His mother is a good cause for what is happening to me. My mind, if she had allowed these children to be, what is happening will not be happening now. No, I don't think. I think Emma did not love me in the first place. Who told you that? I had a discussion with her. Dave? David, what, what's going on? Bro. Welcome. Thank you. Who are you? My name is Ijoma, Madam Stella's daughter. Hmm. I see. But how, how long has it been like this? For a while now. Why? I don't know. His father said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something, I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Me. Bro, why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. Good to be I bought juice for you so that you will drink. Let me open it. Yeah? I bought juice for you, David. Bro. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Emma is what I want. You're not getting anything, but you keep calling Emma, 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 Emma. Emma. That girl. The day I left here, I called her. <laughs> and I was very surprised that she doesn't have my number saved on her phone. And I'm sure she doesn't even have David's number too. I thought you remember. Oh, so I thought, I actually thought they loved each other, but it is obvious that David loved her more than she loved him. And that was why she immediately ran off to marry another man. Hold up the corner. It's very embarrassing. I think that is... I think for this, it's the more reason David has to move on with his life as soon as possible. He has to forget about that. I agree with you. Um, but please, I want you to support him. He's, he really needs that emotional and mental support right now. And I understand that this is not your plan, or this was not your plan after your NYC. But please just help him. To think that Emma is married means she was seeing her husband and David at the same time. Yes, because her marriage was so sudden. It's obvious. I can read in between lines. My she point was dating. My point exactly. I just feel for him. I feel so sorry for him. So how is he? He's sleeping. He's sleeping, Mama. Sleeping. That young man has not slept for days. He's sleeping. How did you do it? Just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, 
Why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with coppers. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes they still show these are camp. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. This way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. Not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like, you don't like this one. Okay. So, this one. Campus. And I was in campus. This is one. <laughs> this particular slippers, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Igbo, Aousa, and Yoruba. <laughs> I don't like my pictures, sorry. Do you have pictures in your phone? Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. A trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has no door with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not... Mama, I do not even know who to blame for his predicament. The mother or Emma. And I feel so sorry for him, Mama. What he's going through could have happened to anybody. The news of Emma's marriage broke into a thousand pieces. He devastated that boy. This is what we call pure love. Even when he has found out that Emma is married to another man, he has refused to accept the glaring reality. But I still maintain that prophecy is the reason for what has happened to that boy. You're not far from the truth, Mama. Oh, Mama, you see these big men children, they don't take rubbish. They don't take nonsense. Patience, they lack it. You see that day that prophet sorted that game? When she asked her to get out of the house, that was the day she started to accept the other man's proposal. You think so? I know so. Mama and a girl. You see, Kennedy has been in the picture long before she even met David. Hmm. Girls. It's the truth. It's just that she was just trying to choose who is best for her. You understand? But prop her to help her make the decision. Because after her encounter with Prof, the poor girl decided to roll with the adulterer big boy. And she married one out of the other one. <sighs> Who won't do that? Mama, see, let me tell you. You see David, you see Emma. I don't think they were ever meant for each other. She was just between these two men. Kennedy and David. She was trying to choose who's best for her. And see, uh, uh, David, you know, the mother was misbehaving. Who wants to uh, uh, choose, choose the other person? Because who wants to enter fire? The way Prof is behaving, you know, she will be scared now. And after all, well, she will have love. She has somebody to choose from. If it's like other guests now that I not even see somebody to say hello to them, to talk of hi to them, eh, eh, at least you will not start complaining. But then they have two suitors. Eh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have the right to choose. Is your mother?
children are opportune today to be born with silver spoon. Why some are born into lack and hardship? I happen to be one of them. I know what it took my mother to train me in the university and I still have younger ones. So I would want to have a good job so I can assist her in training them. Um, I am thinking of employing you, you know, instead of jumping under the scorching sun for a jump point. Looking for where you'll be employed. I am thinking of gainfully employing you to continue taking care of David until he's fully back on his feet. I'm sorry, Ma. With all due respect, Ma, I don't want. To, I want an office job. I don't want to be a man. Ah, uh, Ijo, Ma. It's it's not as if this is coming with nothing. I will pay you weekly. I'll pay you fifty thousand naira. Every week until David is fully back on his feet. Fifty thousand naira weekly. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll be paying me, like weekly, not monthly. Yes, like yes. okay. But that means two hundred thousand a month. Yes, a month. a month can come with five weeks, so it's two fifty. How did she call you? For a job opportunity. Be a nanny to David. <gasps> it will never happen. I did not send you to the university to graduate and then choose a job of a nanny. What is that? Money that ask how much is this money? I don't care. I do not care what it is. Did you accept? No. I told her I want you. Work in the office. I do not want to work as a man. Good. Oh, no, 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 we should consider David first. Hey, John, mm -hmm. whatever is happening to that boy is a, it's our own business. She's the architect of our own misfortune. He should not put it on me. No! 50,000 is For what? You still are a victim. That's what she will be paying you. Uh, even at that. Yeah, Mama? <coughs> you still are a victim. <coughs> That's 200,000 a month. It's okay. Even less than 1 million. That's good. That's good for you. Ijama! Ijama, I am really impressed. As your work as a Davis nanny. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma. Actually, I should be the one thanking you so much. Because I noticed he's doing well. Even though the, the work is happening, it's a heavy task. But you're doing it with all diligence. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Uh, I have noticed something. I don't know how you did it. That David was able to forget Emma. Because I noticed for some time I have not been mentioning that name around here. Thank you so much for the way you are taking care of my son. Ma, it's God. It's God in heaven that did it for me. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this? We are doing on the salary, right? Yes. And that is salary for the week, 50,000 naira. Oh, but please, can you take it? One more, mommy. No. 
I'm sorry, ma. I don't. I don't need. No, I need the money, but I don't want it, ma. But you work for it. You earned it. Yes, I know. It's your money. Yes, ma. But I have decided not to take anything from you. What? Ma, please, just see it this way. What if David were to be my brother? Won't I take care of him? I will take care of him without demanding for anything. All I want is for David to get better, for him to get back on his feet. Then I will go out there and look for a good job. Honestly, I don't want, I don't know what to say. I, I am kind of speechless. Ma, please come be. You've been very kind to my mother. She has been with you for years. You are your husband. You two have been taking good care of her, paying her, her salary. David is like a brother to me. This is the least I can do for him. If she thinks it, it's okay. Possessive behavior that caused him the trauma. Now you are laughing. Mm -hmm. But I've said I am sorry already. Is it not enough? Is it not enough? You're sorry. I'm rubbing it on my face. Okay. I, I hope you will learn from it. Honey, once David bounces back on his feet now, he is free to love any girl of his choice. Whether from a rich background, whether from a poor banker, in fact, from any tribe. Even the lowest of tribe, I don't care. Don't mind. Let me just be happy. Are you serious right now? Ah, serious. Very serious. Ah. So, <laughs> how about that? Uh, Dad, I want to step out and see someone. Are you sure you will be fine? I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Wow. Honey? Hmm. Do you notice know something? What? David did not talk to me. He didn't even behave as if he noticed anybody like me in here. Are you expecting any response from me?
What, Mama? It gets now. My you know I'm not good at guessing. What is it? Okay. David stepped out of the house. Which David? The one you know also that person is outside. David. Yes. How come? I don't know. Hey, hey. That young man is in a perfect condition. Yes. Mom. David drove out of the house. Yes. Mom, are you sure he's fit enough to drive out? Perfectly okay. You need to see the surprise on his parents' faces when you are moving out. I am so happy. Hey! David, this is a miracle. I'm so happy for him. I can't wait for him to come back home. Of course you see him. He'll come back. He's not going to sleep there. So he'll surely come back. Immediately I just left. He just left. Yeah, like that. He will surely come back. He's not going to sleep there. Ah ah! So I went out and David went out. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, God Almighty. That boy is so handsome. Mm -hmm. You young girls, you don't really move your eyes from these handsome men. You look at them, pia, 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 pia. you. See, Jama? Mama, it's not a bad thing. Ah, someone can wish for anything they want in this life. After all, ask and shall be given to you. Me, I wish to marry somebody like David. A handsome man like him, a man that has more of grabinos, you know, a man that is, you know, at Mobi, a very fed man. <laughs> Prof, you just have your head. Yeah! Like that. No, I want it. Why? You should know that we're going to marry her. After all, it's not, it's not David I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking about. I just said I wish to marry somebody like him. I did not say David. I said somebody like him. You're asking me that question. Ijama. 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 I'm actually going to call you. Good. Whoa. <laughs> How do you know this thing? I know this thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's play it over. Try it on again. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. You're a really good thing. I am. Um, um, sorry, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sophia. How about you? Um, my name is Dr. David. Dr. David? Yeah. Okay, so what has to do with Um, I just visited with you today. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to work at my dad's private teaching. Oh, your dad is a medical doctor? Yes, doctor. Nice. Easy. <laughs> I guess you want the doctor as well. Not really, not really. My mom is a lecturer at the State University. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Professor Gloria. <laughs> That's your mom? Yes. Oh my Professor god. Professor Gloria, yes. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know. I would love to see you more. Okay. I don't know if I can tell you. Fine, my phone is in the car, but I can do it. I will just see my phone and then drop it again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah. I'll call it. Don't forget to call it. Yeah. Alright. Bye. Bye. See ya. See you. Oh no. Oh. Hey! Oh, I keep the coffee in the back. Hey! He's wealthy, look at him, he's fat. He doesn't know when I give him my car. <laughs> Not that chimpanzee that always gets something up and down. Thank you. Ah, see, fine boy. Fine boy. Hey. I think. New boyfriend, yeah. Mama, now that David is back on his feet, I think this is the right time to get a good job for myself. I can't wait for you to be gainfully employed, my daughter. Mama, I just need a good job so I can wipe away your tears. 
you surely have one. Try to do that's my prayer for you every day. To think that you have to become a housekeeper so you can take care of us is something I hold dear to my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. David. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. You, do you want something? Uh, not really. I just came to speak to that. Oh, okay. Is that all? That's all. Okay. I'll be my room. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm so happy. So happy that he's on his feet again. Perfect. Hey, Joma. Me too, I'm happy.
是这样子放松。You're a beautiful lady. You're as beautiful as your heart. She's gone. She's gone now. We're just quickly stepping up a shower and get the to come see you, okay?
I love them as much as they love me. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. I mean, if your man gave up a white collar job just to be with you and to see you get back on your feet. And I try to pay her back. <laughs> Check of one million years, so that's not only ten. Okay. No, I don't want. No, I don't. I don't need. I, I don't want the money from you. I did not do it for the money. One million I don't. Want. I tried to pay her back, but she declined. She refused to collect my money. Well, she fell in love with you, and that was why she refused the one million you offered her. I know. I know, but I just wish I never met Sophia, you know. Funny enough, I met her on my way to come see you. And that's how life just took a new turn in that chapter. And that's how life took a different turn, and I fell in love. Well, if you ask me, I'd say you focus on Ijeoma. She deserves all your attention. There's no need to double date. You know, she doesn't go to ask me questions. Like who I'm with, she doesn't care if I'm with anybody. She loves me selflessly. More reason she offered me a virginity. What? Yeah, bro. She gave you her virginity? Yeah, she gave me probably she into the plot, but I didn't ask why she gave it to me. Look, I was on the call with Sophia the other day and she just got into my room and just opened up that curvy body of hers. Bro, what did you expect me to do? Then why didn't you decline? Declined? Yes. Have you seen me, Joma? Oh no, oh no. Have you seen... Okay, no, no, you haven't. She's beautiful. Wait. So, let me answer your question. If you had to make a choice, who would you choose? Hmm. Bro, look, I'm stuck in between. 
Sophia on one end, the classy, beautiful, you know, kind of lady I would choose over and over again and this is your mom on the other end, beautiful <laughs> in and out. Bro, look, I'm confused, man. Bro, confused. Very funny. Bro I mean, it is ridiculous. You can't love two women equally. No, that's the oh. case. You want to be polygamous in nature? Your father was never polygamous. Mm. No, I'm not, you know. I'm not. Oh my god. What? What's giving this guy? What's he keep me waiting for eternity? I've not told you that you can keep Risha waiting. Okay. Why are you staring at me like that? Because I'm one of looking at you. I'll, I'll be my room. I shouldn't serve your food in the dining. I'll be my room. Part, 
despite my pleading, he refused. Oh my God, where's the cook? He left. My only daughter. Huh? What is going on? Hi. See what has become. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I get amazed at the way time flies. <laughs> Just look at them. This small boy of yesterday. Now he's uh, twenty-nine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. I think it's time uh, you did the needful. No, I understand. Ah, come on. It was so difficult to understand here. You broke up with Emma a long time ago, and then we were expecting you to bring someone else home by now. Hmm? Yeah, that I know. Um, I'm just taking my time. Baby. You have been given all the time in this whole world. Introduced to us the girl you are seeing. Simple. Yes. No, I need more time. I'm just trying to put things properly. I need more time. David, you're too tonight. You should be considering marriage right now. What other family are you looking for? Look, David. If you surprise him to know that, uh, we give that to you. When I was 28, you can imagine a man. That's very good, yeah. Ah, look, this is the 21st century. David. Mom. You have a time for you. And it starts counting from now. To propose to a girl and bring her home to us. What is all this? You are 29 and still single. Besides, you are the only child and the only male child of the family. Mom, I know. That's why I said, give me more time. But I'm putting things in place. Besides, I don't want to make a mistake in picking a spouse. It's, a, it's going to be big trouble for me. And I'm not cutting for all that. So just give me more time, please. Unfortunately, David, you don't have time. I mean, look at us. We're getting old and uh, we need grandchildren. Of course. Please, you that. Okay? So if you are finding it difficult to find someone to bring home, and I'm afraid we are going to eat a bed. And in that case, you will have to make do with our choice. <laughs> no, 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 Dad. No, look. No. I'll make my own choice for myself, please. Okay, just give me time. David, do all you have to do. That thing you ought to do, do it immediately. Okay. I don't want your phone to okay? I don't want the one that romantic this issue. Let me get out of the car and go to the house. Oh, she's going there now. Let her go. Go. Move. Dad. Hmm? Nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. I know. I know. Let's just go. Let's go. Hmm? You are fine. I'm, I'm good. You are good. You are good. Yeah, you are good. good. I'm good. Like I'm very good. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. Move. You are good. Go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's just go out. I'm <laughs> thinking where? you need to go out. Going where? Sorry. Sorry, I was not able to make it. But I told you. My interview and your birthday clashed. Anyways, you stood me up yesterday. I was waiting for you to turn up. I didn't turn up. I'm sorry. Circumstance beyond my control. I I promise I'll make it up to you. It's okay. And so where are you going? I don't want to step out. I don't want to put this in a friend. I'll be back in a different. Okay. Oh. 
Um, IG, hmm? I have something to say. What's that? My my parents asked me to bring my the wife I want to marry. Yes, the woman I want to marry. Really? Yeah, and um, I want to go give her some money so that she could get some clothes and look good on that day. You want to go give her some? Okay, she, she doesn't owe oh, you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Come, congratulations to her. She's very lucky. <laughs> Lucky to have I'll see you soon, an end to whatever is between you and David. It's not as easy as you're saying it, Mama. Ijoba, if that thing gets out of hand, do you know what will happen to us? We will automatically be thrown out of this house. There will be no need for that. Unfortunately, he's already on his way now. So go and propose to the woman he is. Who told you that? Who told you that? He told me himself. The two of you are close to each other. Even the blind man feels exactly what you feel for yourself. His choice of choosing another person over you is what I don't really understand. And it is the reason you should just put an end to this whole thing. I love him so much, Mama. I love him. It's not easy. Hey, John. He has now gone to choose somebody over you. How do you feel about it? I feel so sad. I feel so terrible, Mama. If a two-player had told me that David, after confessing all his love for me, would leave me to go and propose to someone else, I swear I would have believed. I don't know how to express myself when I'm sad, but I'm heartbroken, Mama. It's okay. Pass this to you. Hmm? A good man will come ask for your hand in marriage. Hmm? Kill whatever feelings you have for the week. Happy birthday, my love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So how was your birthday celebration? It was fine. It was good, right? Yeah. You didn't invite me to your birthday celebration, so I had to wait here for you. But anyway, since you're here, I have a surprise for you. Really? Mm -hmm. I, I also have a surprise for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, you want to hear? Yeah, of course. Oh. Um, I, um, my parents said I should bring the girl I want to marry for introduction. Really? Yeah. So you're taking me? Um, as soon as I'm leaving here, I'm going straight to her house to give her some money to get some nice clothes. I don't understand. Wait. You? I should have known you were a cheat. So you've been cheating on me all this while? Really? Calm down. Why are you sorting out boys? I don't understand you now. You've been cheating on me all this while. Please. Oh, I see. You've been sampling me, eh? You've been having sex with me. Just... It's good. It's alright. It's fine. I mean... I thought you loved me. You just kept telling me you love me, you love me, and... You have someone else you want to get married to. 
Babe, look, look, it's, it's, it's no, it's no. You know what? You are stupid. You are a fool. It doesn't go to the name calling. Yes, it has gotten to that. You know what? Just leave my house. Okay? I'm done. Just leave my house. Leave! If, in fact, you can stay here if you want to stay. But I don't want to see you when I get back. I'm going to do something to you. Stop now. Stop these tears. It's enough. Stop asking me to prepare vegetable and periwinkles. Let's get to work. You know it. If it is not done on time, you know how. She'll start yelling. I don't want anybody to yell at will you stop? I know what to do now. I think tomorrow when I'm leaving this house. Why? Okay, he shows I'm not over you. Did I not warn you? I'm after everything. Everything. So sad. I feel so bad. Hey, John. I told you, I warned you. Collect whatever monetary offer that is coming from that end. It's in back. Now you have lost everything. And you can if somebody walks in here now and ask why you're shedding tears, what will you expect to say? That David broke my heart. <laughs> that David broke your heart. Can you imagine that guy? I see him. <laughs> Look at what he's doing. <laughs> really? Relax. Very, very flat. So obvious. Are you okay? Babe, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Okay. I know I should have told you this a long time ago. What is it? Say it already. What is it? <laughs> You a prince? Yes. How come I don't know about it? I mean, how come you didn't tell me all this why? Sorry, excuse me. Uh, Dave, what's up, man? Oh, wow. So, how did it go? Um, did you tell Gemma about it?
David sent men in. Come on, see what David sent to me. David just sent me 300,000. He said I should use the 300,000 he just sent to me to get a dress. I've seen his parents this weekend. I don't understand. Is everything alright with him? I understand. I know that face. Why me? Why did you choose me? I mean, of all the girls you've seen in this world, of all the girls you've come across, you choose me? Me. I have been through so much in the hands of girls. And when I found you, I had peace. I am so glad that I found true love. That's all I've ever wanted. God. God, who am I? Who am I that you have shown me mercy? <laughs> you are a prince. You were a good lady and you deserve it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just I'm feeling hot. I know, <laughs> I know that feeling. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. What about your parents? Are you sure they will accept me? <laughs> well, at this point, they don't have a choice but to accept you. Because I choose you. Okay, what about the princess, the princesses, I mean your sister? <laughs> I have four siblings, so I'm the first. Three girls and one boy. I don't know, like, I feel your parents, I don't know. How what is it? Calm down, calm down, relax. Okay? Hey, look. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. I love you. And I want to be with you. So my mother has no choice but to accept you, okay? So just relax. Hmm? I don't know, I just feel sure you are perfect. I don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling like Hey, 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 hey. I'm No, you should not. Just easy. Easy, okay? Easy, allow me to handle it. Okay? Jeez, hey, relax. Just calm oh, down. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Ah. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Have you just said this? Hmm. Calm down. Look at how good you are. You look great. It's so sweet. Wow. <laughs> so each your mind is finally the chosen one. Hmm. My friend, Gary has a fiance now. Wow! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Hey. Relax. Are you doing this? Like, calm down. Okay, you see them, so.
I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Made the right choice. Thank you, though. Thank you. I want the best for you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Baby, come. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much, Mom. I have a sleep for you. Okay? I was really wishing that my son looked your way. Thank you so much, Mom. Oh, Stella, my in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the family. Babe, hey, come on, I'm waiting for you. We're going to be late, so we're going to be late. How's my look? Oh my god, look at you! <laughs> wow, you look... Oh, you look amazing, baby. Thank you. Come here. Did you dress yourself for me? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> wow. Oh, you smell so good, baby. You look so cute, what's Ah, it's all yours, this woman. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready to go. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm looking like this. Make sure we'll see you out. So one time. Oh. Ah, baby, don't tell me you're jealous of her. No, no, I'm jealous. No. You're looking bad. Really? Yeah. You're looking cool. Hey, okay. 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 I just simply made a joke with you and then you ran off into school. Oh, Sophia, please, um, as you can see, I've moved on and I expect you to do the same too. Okay. Mm. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, Sophia, you're not going to be able Everything I said to you was just a joke. You just ran off. Oh, Sophia, look. As you can see, I am happily married. I'm married. Please. And I found peace. Fine. You're a good man. And. I see you're now happy. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. I 
I found peace in you. I found joy.